Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the Illustrator Type Tool. And there are some tips and techniques in today's video that I'm pretty sure you don't already know about and can utilize for your very own workflow. Sponsoring today's video is Template Monster and they have launched a brand new subscription service where you can sign up to access over 8,000 assets to design your next website or your project. You're going to be entitled to WordPress themes, plugins, extensions, as well as one-on-one -on -one help too, and much more. Check out the link in the description box below and learn more about the new one subscription with Template Monster. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator, and if you navigate to the type tool here, you can then click and hold down that click and then drag this button here to the side to bring out all of the various type tools in one group. Also, just a quick tip, press Command or Control T to bring up the character window. It's just always handy to have this in conjunction with the type tool. Now, with the standard type tool, you're going to notice that when I click the artboard, placeholder text appears. And also if I click and drag to make a text box, it is automatically filled with placeholder text. Now this is simply because I have a certain setting activated in the preference settings and you can find that here. As it reads, this auto fills objects with text in Illustrator. So now that we know Illustrator can auto fill objects with text, let's experiment a bit. Now below I have a square and if I grab the standard type tool and then click the stroked line, text is auto filled. Now this also works with other shapes too. And of course you can also use the vertical type tool which will do the exact same thing but with just vertical text instead. Now, the type on the path tool is exactly that. It lays out type on a path. And remember, if you don't like the placeholder text setting, just simply turn it off in the preferences menu. Now for the next tip or technique, let's focus on this oval shape here. We can actually head into the type drop down menu here, and then select the type on a path option. With the preview box checked, watch as I adjust the settings and skew actually skews the text around the oval. That looks pretty neat actually. But yeah, the 3D ribbon gives a somewhat ugly effect and there are other settings too for you to play with. One very handy setting, however, is that you can adjust where the text falls on the path in relation to the path itself. So above, below, you know, centered and so forth. Also, there is a spacing setting, which I prefer to do outside of this window and in the character window itself. The next tip for you to work on is text wrapping, which I'm quickly going to show you here. You will need to place your text behind the object that you want to wrap it around. Then select both design elements and then head into the text wrap settings here. So as you can see, Illustrator has added space around the object relating to the text, and you can then adjust how big the gap is in the text wrap settings. This is very handy for such things as magazine articles, uh, certain flyers, and other editorial designs. Now you might have seen this little red symbol here on your text box and this just essentially means that you've got some text that cannot fit into the box and it runs off the box area. 
you can take the selection tool and then click the square twice and then click away from the text box and that will generate the remaining lost text. Now this is very handy again for magazine articles and editorial design projects. But of course the bounding box and the connecting line is not going to appear on your printout projects. Lastly today, it is very probable that on big projects you might end up with empty text boxes lying around. You can delete them by selecting them and hitting backspace, but on a complex design with many elements it's going to be very difficult to do that. So instead, you can use the clean up option and then select empty text box setting. This will remove all empty text boxes on your artboard, which is really handy indeed, you don't want those lying around anywhere. So there is today's short but comprehensive guide on the type tool in Adobe Illustrator. Let me know if you learned something and also remember if you want to keep boosting your skills and your awareness as a graphic designer, subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. Also my subscription based website is ready to launch so you will soon find that linked in the description box below on all of my videos. You can head over there for unique and exclusive content, free vectors and free PSDs and so much more. But yeah, until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.